Hi, this is Mark Kim with Yamas YMHF0103 model. Now this, uh, it's got a close, uh, a strong place in my heart because I wear those same watch but in black. But it was a personal choice for me to choose black, but I also love this model. Um, it could, for me personally, is that use of blue against that stainless steel that makes this watch just so elegant, such a great design, and just wears extremely well. But um, before I go into it, let me explain to you some of the major features of this watch. Uh, this is part of the Master Elements collection. It does come with a chronograph, uh, like many of the Yaman line, but uh, you'll notice something a little more special about this chronograph and uh, this model specifically because it's got more features than just about any other thing that I've seen. So let me go ahead and uh, show you the scale of this watch, just, just to give you an idea. If, if, I don't know if you can see against maybe like my fingers or whatnot, but this is a fifth, uh, 49 millimeter watch, which means as you wear it, no one else will, uh, can, that it's, can anyone else can tell that you're gonna wear uh, that you're wearing anything else because it's so distinct of a watch in the piece. And you'll notice that there are five buttons or crowns you don't know just yet located on each side. I've unscrewed these two just for us uh, for my own purposes, but I'll show you that it screws back in. Okay, so um, let me show you how the chronograph works. So uh, let me zoom in just a little more. I think it's gonna help us and uh, at least help you understand this. So the two o'clock one, if I press it down, now watch the second hand or the blue hand right over here. And you'll notice that it is moving after I depress it once. Depress it again, it's going to stop. Depress it one more time, it will continue. But it continues from the point where I stopped it. Now there's another feature called split time where say if I was uh, timing two people in a race, first person finishes at 16 seconds. Okay, write down 16 seconds. The race continues and the second person finishes at 25 seconds. Write down this, write it down. Once it's stopped, not continuing to the next person, but stopped using this button, you can go ahead and reset it back to its neutral position, back to zero. So you're probably wondering, what on earth then is this guy? If the, sec if the second hand's here, where's the real second hand? And what's this thing over here? Okay, so the chronograph measures time, but it uh, only, but that blue hand only uh, measures seconds. Over here, these uh, this top stop dial over here counts the minutes of the, of the uh, of the stopwatch, the chronograph. This person over here <laughs> is the second hand for the time. So time right now is 10, 13, and 16 seconds. One nice thing about this case, though it's hard to see from right there, is that every crown, every push button is screwed down by design. Now what does that mean? It means you have a smaller chance of water getting into the case. It's all that really means, but it's, it's one of those design things that's just kept with the watchmaking industry for so, so long. But uh, I just wanted you to take a look and see that it screws right back in. Now, let me go ahead and show you how to adjust the time. If I unscrew the three o'clock crown, I pull it one, two to the second step, you will see that I can adjust the time. Let me go ahead and put it 10.05. If I want to close it, I can screw it back in. But if I pull it to the first position, you'll watch the time, watch the date says one right now, right? Now two, three, four, five, six, you can adjust the date this way. Okay, so now we talk about the chronograph, we talked about the time adjusting it. This thing over here, oh, this, this is a little awkward, but this thing right over here is the alarm function. Yes, this watch cannot wash your dishes, cannot walk the dog, but can give you an alarm. And so that is the indicator dial right over here by the six o'clock position. Now we're not done folks. We have two more friends right over here. 
by these 8 o'clock and the 10 o'clock. Let me go ahead and unscrew this one on this side just so that you can see. Oh, just go ahead and screw it. Just want to show everything, including the unscrew process. Take a look at that. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but we do have a, uh, a small inner bezel slide rule. For those who are unfamiliar with slide rules, they do four major mathematical computations. They do addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. I'm not gonna go through that on the video, but I'm gonna send a fantastic manual with it that's gonna explain the features of the slide rule calculator. So now that we have the inner bezel slide rule, take a look at what this guy does over here. Now, now, now let's take a look at the, the top one. Go ahead and unscrew it. And if once you unscrew it, you're gonna feel that it's gonna release. Look at that. A bi-directional lockable auto bezel. Smoothness of it, I don't know if you can feel it. It's just absolutely smooth, accurate. You can completely set it to the exact point that you would like. And uh, it's just one of those features I think it's just Absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna leave these two unscrewed. Oh, let me show you the back. It does have all the markings. Master element. Tor ACA. My French is non-existent almost, but uh, there is a French, there is a whole bunch of French in the back over here. With the Yema print on the back of the watch. That gorgeous double stitching. Soft to the hands. And that buckle, which indeed does say Yema. Just just so if you forgot. So now the last thing I gotta do is put on my wrist to give you an idea of the scale of this watch. Like I said to you before, don't expect not to be noticed. And if you're trying not to be noticed, you're gonna have to get used to getting compliments in your watch because it's not one of the, uh, let me just say, okay, that's just closed up, and now let's bring it back. And okay, that's a little silly because it's, uh, it's still unscrewed, but once I screw down this crown, this one too while I'm at it, There you go, folks. That's the mass element that you've been looking for. This is YMHF0103. It's Mark Kim with TheGameUSA.com. Hope to see you wearing this soon. Thank you.